rivers, streams, mountains, you know, just everything. It's neat to experience it through baseball. I'm gonna groove one right here. Right there, nice, nice. Hey, that a boy, get going, get going, get going, get going. Get going, nice, that a boy. Good, real good. That a boy, Rocket. Look at three, Rock, look at three. This is probably the most unique place in 1920 over the spin summer. You get 70 to 80 degrees, no humidity. It's perfect baseball weather. The scenery's a little different than Kansas. You know, that's the main thing that I've noticed. Just the all-around package of it up here, just, it's a dream come true. There's a quality of life up here I really, really appreciate. Um, and then the golfing and fishing, of course. From the producers of Touching the Game, the story of the Cape Cod Baseball League comes a new film that gives an inside look at a place where they only play day games. I think the first five days I got about 15 hours of sleep. We used to stay up to about 2.30 in the morning fishing and still just that evening light out there. I didn't know if I was going to be able to go to sleep or what and we're going to be playing like midnight games and everything like that, but uh, I like it now. The Alaska Baseball League. Our award-winning documentary crew immerse themselves in the heart of the frontier state in a league that is rich in baseball history and a vacation destination for any true baseball fan. Every baseball fan should come up and watch the Midnight Sun game. Just to see the atmosphere and what it's like to start a baseball game at 10.30 at night and not have to use artificial lights. It's a league where lasting bonds are formed and there is no shortage of knowledgeable and colorful characters. People here are great. They, uh, they love their baseball and they, they love this league. They come out and they put their heart and soul in it. They really have a good time out here. And everybody has a story to tell. This moose is running as fast as he can straight towards me. They uh, grow these 100 pound cabbages and things. A bear comes up right behind us. I'm like, what the heck's going on? And I thought, oh, holy cow, this guy is going to crash. He veered off and missed the scoreboard by, I don't know how he missed the scoreboard, but he missed the scoreboard. It's a starting ground for future stars, where long road trips can be a grueling but unforgettable experience. Base hit right here, bingo. Bingo hall? You know, I'm staying in cots. But man, you get up there and you got all your team together and you guys are together that whole weekend. It, it's a blast. You seriously go through some funny things in there. You create situations that you can talk about in years from now and say, hey, remember when this happened, remember when that happened? The Olympic Villages is definitely something you don't really talk about until you, you kind of had that experience. It's bad, but like it's a funny bad. Yeah, you, know, you just go there, you stay there. It makes you want to be out on the field to play baseball. It's a place where boys become men, and some of the best amateur baseball in the world is played. There's no experience like summer in Alaska. It's there to beat you down. It's there to test you as a human being. And, and you know, just as life is going to throw some tough things at you, it's going to prepare you for pretty much anything you're going to face in this game. It's just overcoming adversity and, and can you mentally handle it? And if you can, you're going, to, you're going to get pretty far in this game. Touching the game, Alaska.